Hi, I'm Alex. In this video, we would like to show you the full cycle of ordering in multi-vendor, starting with choosing a product and finishing with a vendor withdrawal. Let's begin! First, on the general stuff front, we have two options. Either choose a product from the list, or visit a vendor's mini-store. Let's go to the mini-store. Here we choose a product and add it to the cart. After that we choose to continue shopping and decide to buy another product from another vendor. We add the product to the cart as well, but this time we proceed to the checkout. To save your time I'll skip some of the checkout steps, then choose PayPal Adaptive as a payment method and place an order. After that we'll be taken to PayPal website where the payment is processed. Here we log in to our PayPal customer account and click Pay. The payment was completed and we can return to the order details. For the matters of convenience, the order has been divided into two. Let's go to the main dashboard to see the results of the payment. This is the dashboard of the main administrator, where they monitor the life of a marketplace. So we have two new orders, one for each vendor. As you can see, the orders have been automatically processed by PayPal. To see the full picture of the operation, we need to go to Vendors – Accounting. On the accounting page of the main administrator panel, transaction value shows the amount of transaction fee received by the marketplace owner. On the vendor's accounting page, the transaction value column shows us the money received by the vendor. The PayPal Adaptive Payments feature allows you to avoid manual distribution of funds between vendors. Instead, a single payment made by a customer is automatically shared between vendors and the marketplace owner. And that's it. As you can see, the process of selling and buying is quite simple in multi-vendor. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our sales team. Thanks for watching and see you in the next multi-vendor videos.